Are you tired? Tired of working nine to five? Tired of having a boss? Tired of answering endless emails? Are you in your 50s, perhaps even your 60s, and you're constantly getting passed over for promotions, but expected to work more and more work and learn more and more technology? You want to retire but you don't quite have the money to get there. In this video, I am going to solve your problem. I'm going to give you 10 amazing ideas that you could start right now. Friends, that you could start right now so that you could start your own business, your own side hustle. I am Casey Ann Reynolds. I'm a vocational coach or retired school teacher in the Nashville area. So please hit subscribe. Give me some comments about a small business that you would love to start because I love comments. And this is my small business, so help me out, friends. Subscribe, notify, comments. Love you so much. Thank you. So the first thing before we go over those 10 amazing small business side hustles is that you're going to have three qualification. Now you may be in a different phase of retirement. I am currently 58. Yes. So this is my side hustle. That's why you need to support me and it's free. But we want to be thinking about the fact that we want to delay taking social security until the age of 70. So we can get 132 percent of our benefits. Okay. Super important. Also want to have our last 10 years, that'd be for me, 12 years to be our highest paying year so that we bring that average up. I know I stayed home with the kiddos for 10 years, so I've gotten rid of those zeros. Thank goodness. But now I still have 10 low years that I would like to get rid of so that my last 35, my highest 35 years are going to be what my social security benefit is based upon. I don't even care if I bring down that 401k in the beginning of my retirement because I'm going to maximize my social security. And that's what we want to do is maximize our health, wealth, and happiness. You're definitely going to want to watch my video on the 10 best part-time jobs to have during retirement. I did retire from my main career of Teaching. Currently, we're in the hospitality industry. My example is quite unusual in that I do make more than I did as a teacher, but you can have any combination of, particularly if you are with a partner, particularly if you're with a partner, like one person's still working full time, one person's working on their small business, when both are working on part time jobs, both are doing the small business together. You, maybe you could do your small business with a kid that is struggling. We all know this adult children that our children sometimes struggle with adulting a grandchild and such. So we could have any combination of these. We do want to make sure we have three important criteria and the small business administration. I did put a link below. Absolutely consult with them, take their classes. That's going to be the most invaluable, free asset you need. I'm not a tax accountant, but do take taxes into consideration, please. Okay. So number one, low startup costs. None of these businesses that I'm suggesting would cost more than a thousand dollars to start. Okay. Number two, there, you are going to be your own boss. You're going to have a nice flexible work schedule, but you are going to be needing to live close to an environment that has people that will need these services. So a mid size to larger city that's economically thriving or, and most importantly, most importantly is number three. Number three is make sure that you're compensating yourself fairly, whatever your fair wages are. So you may find that you don't really like any of these ideas, but perhaps you want to help a child get started in some of these ideas and you can consult online. That's what I'm doing right now. Okay. So just want to make sure that like, I'm just going to throw a figure out there. Like I make $40 an hour. So I want to make sure you take into account those self-employment taxes. I've seen plenty of people like I'm making earrings for $10 an hour. 
<laughs> it's not worth your time. And never, ever, ever give your services away for free. Build your clientele up slowly, but make sure you're charging a fair weight. Make sure, okay, so now we're on to the list. Okay, so number one is like a chauffeur, taxi cab service. Never go with an agency because they're gonna take a lot of your wages. So just do your own thing, start your own business. So how are we gonna do that? All these, you're gonna have to build trust. You have trust, you're older. Alrighty, so we already have that trust. I definitely recommend having that background criminal check, building references, going into the community, okay? So going in with your neighbors, family, friends, religious organization, past business associates. So I'm gonna list the example of the tax cab service. You know, sometimes we have to be at the airport at 3 a.m. And as a woman in particular, I feel really sketched out having a stranger pulling up at my house at 3 a.m. And we do know there's bad things that have happened, right? So you're that trusted person. Now you're gonna charge good money to get them to the airport, but they need to get to the airport. And the same would be if they had an emergency and they got laid over and they're getting home at some sort of crazy hour. They know they can call you, get you help. The other thing is surgery. You know, sometimes we're all living alone nowadays and who can get me to this little surgery that I need done? I don't want to do an Uber driver. And also chauffeur. So a lot of very wealthy people, I'm, I'm talking more like in Nashville area, this is an area you'd have to have a lot of wealth. Oh, you guys see Yuki in the background. Yeah, he's kind of fighting off this little cat named Salem outside. Yeah, look, another little black cat that loves me. <laughs> Anyhow, so like chauffeuring people's kids around back and forth to practices is awesome. Is gardening and I'm not talking about mowing lawns but if you had a kid that needed a job and really all you're going to need to buy is a lawnmower you know he could do the cutting up the grass for you but we're talking about you would be doing the pruning you would be doing the planting of the flowers in the appropriate season and also fertilizing and taking care of their flowering creative thank you AI AI has made life better for creative people. Already, so we have Canva, we have WordPress, we have Bluehost. It's never been easier if you are a creative person to help others grow their small business, to create business cards, to create invitations, to create like place cards for a wedding. There's endless, endless opportunities. I worked with a coworker and she was designing t-shirts with horses on them for horse shows and retired from teaching or she just quit from teaching which is even better so endless opportunities if you're creative and have those types of skills Alrighty. so number four swedish death cleaning so this is going to be an organizational business the swedish believe that before you die you should get rid of your crap Alrighty, so this could be for people that have been divorced, people who have been widowed, people who have to move, or just people that want to clean and organize. You may also hire a person that you trust, that you trust friends to do that deep cleaning because people don't like having strangers in their house. But if you're there to supervise, it makes them feel a lot better. So Swedish death cleaning where you're simply going in and cleaning, reselling their stuff. Honey, rich people aren't meeting somebody at Walmart to sell their old pair of shoes. No, they don't do that. They get really sketched out about doing that. Well, I'll do that. <laughs> so as you're cleaning out wealthy people's houses, they have golf clubs, they have this, they have that. They have a lot of things that they honestly and truly do not know how to get rid of. And they still on top dollar. You know, they're not just always wanting to give it to the goodwill. And speaking of, if you're in a wealthy community, which I suggest you move close to a wealthy community, you can go to the goodwill and get amazing stuff for $5. And you are going to resell. Facebook Marketplace, Poshmark, even just like having kind of regular yard sales or just even like having your own freaking little website or selling on Amazon. So you have to build that network because you're doing the work. You're meeting the people at Walmart and you're gonna be selling rich people stuff. You could even 
buy a storefront to do this as you grow bigger and bigger of house sitting, pet sitting, particularly wealthy people even have pools, they have a lot that needs to be done or they have somebody that's coming to their house because they're in the middle of a remodeling project and they need you to supervise. So just combining these services is an excellent way of making six figures. When then, I don't know why this hasn't taken off in America. I just don't know why, but this is called a photo booth. So what we're gonna do is either create it like a movable photo booth, Instagram, or we're going to create it so it's in your home, in a storefront, if you've opened a storefront. So this is gonna basically be an area that has props and good lighting. So like my lighting set cost me $150. That's the smallest investment, right? You need a tripod. You're gonna set up it, the lighting for them and set up the props. You can even go so far as to eventually buy some dresses. And so they're dressing up, you know, mother, daughter dresses, whatever you kind of see the demand for, don't overinvest until you start seeing what your clients want. And they take these beautiful Instagram pictures. If you have a beautiful garden, if you're a gardener, then set up a little garden area for this. And people get those beautiful pictures because their house is kind of not so pretty. Honey to-do list. Okay, so again, you're chauffeuring the people, they leave you a list. The list could be clean the oven. Oh boy, that's so hard to turn on the self-cleaning on the oven, right? Clean out the coffee pot, straighten up the garage you know, wash and scrub the baseboards. That's always my favorite thing to do. It's very satisfying. I don't know why. <laughs> you know, buy me some pumpkins. You know, silly little things that they wanna walk in and have the house smell amazing, the oven's clean, clothes are put away, clutter's put up. I'm not talking about scrubbing the toilets, no. I'm just talking about like you're just doing the things you normally would, but you're charging top dollar. Number nine is if you are a baker or a personal chef that you would be creating culinary creations. And then you would be providing them to small parties, corporate events. This could be cupcakes, this could be cakes, pretzels, or even like sandwiches. Like say for instance, you know there's 10 hairdressers that work in a salon and you know they're all gonna want lunch and you know they're all always trying to lose weight and be on a diet. So you provide like healthy, like my mason jar salads, my favorite. And that's going to be a while you're out. There's a TV reality show called While You're Out. And so in this show, people would leave and they come back and their house would be kind of transformed. So you almost would combine like all of the businesses, like you brought these people to the airport and her house was kind of like a hot mess and they came home and it's clean, it's straight, it smells good and you bought them some new pillows. You know, you just kind of went to Marshall's and you got some new pillows and you just fluffed, staged, made everything look cleaner without spending a tremendous amount of money, for the person who's coming home, they literally are just like, you know that stress of coming home to a dirty, nasty house with dying plants and, ugh, you know, kids' rooms look like a hot mess. And now you're like, yay, everything looks beautiful. Well, anyhow, friends, I hope you absolutely love this video. So please watch my video. That's really close to my heart. You have to watch it about the things that make me happy. Um, the eight things I started to do after a life of abuse and trauma that really just changed my life and you absolutely have to watch that video and I will see you soon. I just want you all to have in your life peace, joy, and love. Thank you.